My name is Molly Huffman, and I'm from the Okaloosa County Farm Bureau Women's Committee. Today I'm going to read you the book, From Caterpillar to Butterfly, by Deborah Heigelman, and illustrated by Bari Weissman. Today, a caterpillar came to school in a jar. It is eating green leaves. It is climbing and wiggling. This tiny caterpillar is going to change. It will change into a beautiful butterfly. Caterpillars usually turn into butterflies outdoors. They live in gardens and meadows and yards, but we will watch our caterpillar change into a butterfly right here in our classroom. This change is called metamorphosis. Our caterpillar started out as a tiny egg. The mother butterfly laid the egg on a leaf. When the caterpillar hatched out of the egg, it was hungry. It ate its way out of its own eggshell. Then it started to eat green plants right away. A caterpillar's job is to eat and eat and eat. So it will grow and grow and grow. Each day when we come into school, we look at our caterpillar. Each day it is bigger. Our skin grows with us, but a caterpillar's skin does not grow. When the caterpillar gets too big for its skin, the skin splits down the back. The caterpillar crawls right out of its own skin. It has new skin underneath. This is called molting. Our caterpillar will molt four or five times. After many days, our caterpillar is finished growing. It is much bigger than when it first came to school. It is almost as big as my little finger now. Our caterpillar is making a special house. First, it makes a button of silk. It uses this button to hang upside down from a twig. Then it molts for the last time. Instead of a new skin, this time there is a hard shell. This shell is called a chrysalis. Our caterpillar will stay inside the chrysalis for a long time. Every day, the chrysalis looks the same. We can't see anything happening, but inside the chrysalis, our caterpillar is changing. Will our caterpillar ever turn into a butterfly? Will it ever come out of its chrysalis? We can hardly wait, but we do. We wait and wait and wait. Then one day, during snack time, somebody shouts, Look! And we all rush over to see. The chrysalis is cracking. We see a head, a body, and then wings. It's a butterfly. A tiny caterpillar who came to school in a jar turned into a painted lady butterfly, and we saw it happen. Our butterfly is damp and crumpled. It hangs on to the chrysalis while its wings flap, flap, flap. Blood pumps into its wings. The wings straighten out and dry. Soon, our butterfly will be ready to fly. Our butterfly cannot stay in the jar. It needs to be outside with flowers and grass and trees and other butterflies. It is a warm spring day. I put my finger into the jar. The butterfly sits on my finger. I pull it out and our butterfly goes free. We feel a little sad and a little happy. We watch our butterfly land on a flower. It will sip the flower's nectar through a long coiled tube called a proboscis. Maybe it is a female butterfly. Maybe someday she will lay an egg on a leaf. I know just what will happen then. That egg will hatch into a caterpillar, and that caterpillar will turn into a beautiful butterfly. How many different kinds of butterflies can you find around your neighborhood? Here are some common ones to look for. The monarch, found in most areas of the United States. The black swallowtail, found in all areas but the very far east. The cabbage white, found throughout the United States. The dog-faced butterfly, found throughout the south, 
migrates through the Midwest to the Northeast and Canada. The common blue, found in the western part of the United States, and the buckeye, found in most areas of the United States, except for the Pacific Northwest. I hope you've enjoyed this book about butterflies. Now guys, you go out and see how many butterflies you can find in your yard.